Well, hey there, howdy. I thought I'd do another video. Uh, the weather changed on me. It got cold. So, um, but what I was thinking about was my grandma Gutierrez, Virginia Gutierrez, back in the 80s, like uh, probably 88, 89, something like that. Um, she, maybe 87 or 86. She, she was trying to tell me about how the astronauts were trying to claim heaven for themselves and that it was the dwelling place of the Lord and his glory dwells there and that um, we have no business up there. And I held that in my mind for a long time. Like, you know, uh, you know, cause I thought that, you know, there are astronauts that went to the moon and stuff like that because of the, the stuff that they taught me in school, you know? So I never fully believed in the globe or the astronauts and stuff like that because my grandma told me that you know and i didn't i didn't understand exactly what she was saying but i figured you know she she knew more than me and um you know so i kept that on the back burner or whatever and uh you know i we were supposed to study to show ourselves approved and if you if you look into the shape of the earth and where we actually are the earth is like a terrarium there is a big glass dome above the earth it's called the firmament and this place is still like that's why earthquakes are so scary because the earth isn't supposed to move so this place is still like a footstool because footstools don't run around like a Roomba, okay? If your footstool's running around, then it's probably demonic activity and you should rebuke it and uh, start praying and, uh, you know, read your Bible out loud, you know, and anoint your house with oil and, and your, your footstool, okay? Because footstools are supposed to be still. The earth is God's footstool, is Jesus' footstool. It's still. This place is flat. And that's what my grandma was trying to Tell me what was going on because on this channel, I don't care if I get ridiculed. I don't care how people think I'm stupid and stuff. I don't care about that. I'm a servant of the Lord and I serve up the truth around here. And this says that the earth is flat. There's several, several passages within it that say that it's flat. And if you look it up, if you bother to, to look into it, to undo your mind control, to undo your programming, to come to the truth because there's there's only one truth it's all in here okay and so you should read it and get acquainted with it so that you know you won't be surprised you you won't be able to be uh manipulated and controlled okay cuz i don't know if you noticed but almost everything that the world teaches is against this particular book okay so um uh it's not a, a chance a random thing you know this place is wicked it's evil it's insanely evil um so uh, don't be like that you know be the light follow what's right truth his name is jesus some people say yeshua um you know, like, I, I don't know if my grandma knew that name. So, uh, you know, she just used the name Jesus and she she moved mightily for the Lord. She was a little old lady, but she she moved mightily for him. OK, so regardless of whether you call him Jesus or Yeshua, he is the Lord and he knows he knows our hearts and I love and crave the truth. And that's it. So um, I got to go cook now. OK, so. Y'all have a great day. God bless you and your family.